Thomas, what kind of Dracula is it? Dario said, this is a different Dracula than you've seen before. Yes, it's a Dario Argento Dracula. It's, uh, it clearly says Dario Argento's Dracula. So, um, who knows Dario Argento's films, uh, they know that uh, he has a very specific style. Uh, he has also like a very specific uh, group of followers and people who love his films and uh, you cannot expect like a normal or regular film from him, you know, it's... Um, I was aware of that, I shot with him before Stendhal Syndrome, it was uh, 18 years ago and I remember very well and I remember having like a great time with him and, uh, and his films are quite special so I didn't have the problem of um, like grinding myself into what does exist in Dracula films, which versions, what are we doing, Dracula has been done so often, you know, it's, uh, it's more an Argento film than a Dracula film. Well, uh, by Argento, do you mean it's bloody and it does not make any sense? It's bloody. It's it's also it's it's a different style. It's uh, it's uh, it has a strange humor. It has uh, it's strange. Dario Argento is strange. His films are strange, and I love him. Uh, and by strange, do you mean that it doesn't by strange, make I mean sense? strange. I mean it just means strange. I'm not like saying good strange, but it's strange. It's different. You have uh, blue eyes. You're known as a good-looking guy. Um, I just interviewed Johnny Depp about Dark Shadows, okay. and he said one of the things I wanted to do here was to be a vampire who doesn't look like a male model. Okay. Now, how do you think Thomas Kretschmann's Dracula shapes up that way? Uh -huh. Are I you a okay. romantic, good-looking guy who could step as Dracula into the uh, pages of GQ? Uh, that thought didn't cross my mind. I, uh, I, I've been looking at the script and uh, and uh, and was asking him what he was trying to do. I saw the costumes. I saw like the interior, like um, the world we were working in, and uh, and I kind of tried to ignore that all and play um, a love story to Romeo and Juliet, if you want. Uh, because that's what it is. It's about never-ending love and about about loneliness and about the desire to be together and all the other stuff comes on top. So I, I, I've, I've been not thinking that far and uh, also you can't because it's useless when you shoot with Dario because he's doing what he wants and he uh, puts you in the way he wants you to be in and uh, so you function as good as you can. And. Uh when you do this, uh, the bites, is it erotic then? Is that kind of like a the I think scene? so, yeah. Like, I think so. The bite is a, it's a very erotic thing. I think it's uh, very sexual. I think it's uh, it's a metaphor for a lot of things. And everybody should decide uh, what it means for himself or for herself. And does your Dracula put on fangs then Do you when you take your big bite? Yeah, the fangs come out. Uh, and he also quite changes a bit. Uh, it's it's a little bit like the, uh, like Romeo being on uh, being on heavy drugs. Uh, so it's I, I tried also I tried to do a little bit uh, Jekyll and Hyde, like be uh, be a very romantic uh, 18th century person uh, in a in, in most of the time uh, unless uh, the uh, the thirst comes out and then to change radically. Okay, and uh, I understand you just made a movie with Charlton Copley? I'm shooting it right now, I'm going, uh, after we are done, I'm going back to Hungary and, uh, this very and afternoon. Tomorrow, tomorrow morning, 7 o'clock, I'm on set again, yes. And is that called Open Grave? It's, it's called Open Grave, uh, but it's not uh, confirmed we might change the, the title of the film. And uh, I understand that is also about the undead rising. It's about it's a it's a horror film. I don't want to say undead. I also don't want to say too much about the film because it's a it's it's really great plot. It's a great subject. I uh, I love the director, um, a Spanish director, and uh, the uh, it's about um, a guy wakes up in a ditch full of dead bodies. Uh, 
meets four other guys, nobody knows what the fuck's going on and nobody remembers anything and they try to figure out what the hell happened and it goes downhill from there. And you're one of the guys that he meets? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm the other guy. Uh, uh, there, there's another group and, uh, and we, um, since we don't know who we are and what, uh, what happens, uh, we try to establish a kind of like alpha, uh, alpha uh, situation here, like we, we try to figure out who's like who has uh, the control, who is that, all this, all this psychological things uh, kicking in and uh, I, I really, I, I'm really excited about that film and, uh, and looking forward that this mm -hmm. one is finished. To it's see rare it. for a German actor to have an international career and, yes. and do uh, English language films everywhere. How did that happen for you exactly? It happened because I wanted it um, and it's... Um, and I, I, I thought, why not try everything? And why not? Uh, I, that's also how I choose my parts. I uh, don't want to do the same thing over and over again. I want to do always something new. And uh, the job actor is like an international, you know, the films are international. It's an international. Movie. Why not do anything I can? And how many languages do you speak? I speak German very well, and then a little bit of English. And Your then, English is uh, very good. Well, thank you. <laughs> the accent <laughs> is the problem. Uh, and I, I understand a little bit French, a little bit Italian, but I don't speak it. And you started out uh, as a swimmer. Uh, in Germany, you were the equivalent of like an Olympic swimmer? Yeah, different life. Uh, my former life, yeah. I grew up in East Germany, and, I, uh, and I've been part of the East German swimming team and been swimming 20 kilometers a day and uh, been counting a lot of tiles. It <laughs> uh, was great, great, uh, great to, to develop a like as a fantasy. <laughs> as you Fantasizing were swimming, while you're counting the tiles, you know, your brain is like going around, you know, how free lot these days. How do I get out of this pool? How do I get out of this pool? Yeah, how do I get out of this film? <laughs> <laughs> and, <laughs> and when you left that, was acting automatically? No, acting thing? was just uh, was just uh, it just happened. Uh, I I I was not cl quite clear what I what I want to do, what I want to be. I just always knew what I would, don't want, and then it's it, it just it came to me, and I, I I'm stuck with it now. Right. Uh, Jason Statham is also somebody who started in swimming and went on into yeah. an acting career. What does swimming give you? A uh, sense of discipline, I guess? A uh, sense of discipline, yeah. Also, like, I'm with my size. I was a long-distance swimmer, so uh, you can kill me so quickly. Um, <laughs> I, uh, for directors, uh, it's, uh, the good news is they can shoot with me like 15, 16, 17 hour days. You know, I'm the last man standing. Oh, okay. You've got, <laughs> you got total, total strength Just there. Just a bit of your East German background. What, what was it like growing up in the East and how has that affected your life? Well, that's a very... Um, Big question. Big question. How was it growing up in East Germany? It was very great. Uh, and um, I, my main reason why I left was uh, I believe in self responsibility. I, I, I couldn't stand the fact that the, that the state, that the government is deciding for you. That, he, that this government is, is, is like deciding which way you go, which path, what's the path for your life. And um, that was basically the main reason. Uh, and so you left before the Berlin Wall fell down? I left in 1983, yeah. Way before. And Way was before. it easy to leave with your family and stuff? No, I, I escaped. I've been running over the border. There were towers and guys with guns. It was not so easy, you know. I had no idea. If it would have been easy, a lot of people would have done it. Yeah, I had yeah. I had no idea yeah. about you with that. I um, was as well a fast runner. <laughs> uh, was that hard, hard to walk a strike? What? Was that hard to do? Did you I mean, plan? Of course, it was hard to do. It was like escaping. It's like running over a border, people shooting at you. Yeah, it's hard. You couldn't kind die. Of. <laughs> so that's I could have you, died. Yeah. Maybe yeah. Is, yeah. That, is that fearlessness giving you? Is that giving you a sense of fearlessness a bit? You it gives you afterwards, like when all these little dramas happen in life, uh, you can go there and go. Um, <laughs> whoa, 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 <laughs> what do you want to do? You want to kill me? You can't. So fuck off. That's right. basically the quintessence. Oh, okay.